guys, I'm Hybrid Frost Kid, and welcome back to Glaciers. If you can probably tell by the sky, we are in a bit of an emergency because it is currently a thunderstorm. I gotta work quick. I was gladly watching Obsidian streaming, and then a thunderstorm happened. So I gotta quickly rush over, grab my trident, and try and get the two mobs I desperately need. So I'm looking for a skeleton horse as well as a brown mushroom. So I'm pretty sure I just need to get them struck by lightning. I don't know if they're going to disappear, so I need a bunch of name tags. So let's see if I can grab as many as I can. I need a total of eight altogether. So let's see if I can buy anything off anyone quick. Six. There we go. Okay. We've got nine. That's enough. I'm not going to name him anything special while I'm catching him. I'm just going to name him all a conjoint name, which will... Because I'm very creative. One. There we go. They're all going to be named one. Let's quickly go ahead to the mushroom biome, which is our first destination. Luckily, it's not too far away. And another thing, I don't even know how this kind of trident works, so I'm just going to have to hope for the best. So, what do I do? Do I just... Whoa, I did it! I did it! Look at him! Okay, there's our first one. Come back, Mr. Mushroom! Boop! Okay, we've got name tag one. <laughs> Very creative. And this one as well. Whoop! Woo! Go on! Gonna get him as well. Name tag one again. Okay, I need to find two more mushrooms and then we can get around to actually trapping these guys and looking for the skeleton horses. We got this guy. I'm sorry, I don't know if I have to hit them, but they're currently being hit. Okay, there's another one and do I just need to hit near them. No, I think I actually need to. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> sorry to do that. Okay, so that's all the mushroom name. Let's try and find a horse. Now the problem is I don't actually know the locations of any horses. I think there's a couple to the south of Navia. No, that's not the south, the east. The east, whoa, that was a strike of lightning. In the east area of Navia, just next to it, there's a bunch of horses. Pretty sure that's where I originally found Spirit. So somewhere around this way. There's a horse, found one. Hopefully I only need one horse for this. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> this time with a little bit more finesse. What? Aren't they supposed to turn into skeletons? Oh, I think I've done something wrong here. Huh? No, it has it stopped thundering? Don't you dare say it stopped thundering. No? I don't know how to get skeleton horses. Do you have... Does it have to randomly occur? Now witness me being a little bit of an idiot. Ooh. Well, this is a bit of a pickle, isn't it? But, good thing I always have spare. Let's quickly go back and grab my stuff. Hopefully I haven't lost everything. I don't think I would have. Whoa, those kind of creepers have a much bigger blast radius than I thought. Whew! Deadly. Okay, let's try and get our stuff back. Uh, chuck on my pants. Uh, I think I've got everything. Oh, my boots are still down there. Let me just quickly get down here, pick up all my other stuff. Was that a zombie head I saw? Oh, I acquired a zombie head! Oh, hell yeah! Okay, let's put on my boots. I think that was everything in my pockets. Yeah. Okay, let's just regroup on a tree and then double check. Guys, I have come to the sad realization that skeleton horses can't be made manually in the game. They have to spawn in the world somewhere. So I've waited all this time to find a skeleton horse, all this time for a thunderstorm, and it was completely impossible to get a skeleton horse by doing this. Skeleton horses only naturally spawn in thunderstorms. They're not a thing that can be forced during a thunderstorm. Wow. Well, I'm a head home with my head hung low and yeah, I've got to be a little bit sad about that. I, I'm not going to lie. I am slightly sad. So as I'm heading home, I think that I'm going to make it a rule if I don't find any skeleton horses by the end of the season, that area of the zoo is going to be forever unmanned. There is going to be no skeleton horses in it because, believe it or not, within a year, this server has had three total thunderstorms. And this is the third one. And I think it's over with, which is sad. But 
on the bright side, at least we got our brown mushrooms. I gotta get them back to Glacius somehow, but luckily Glacius is just over there. So. Okay, let's get these guys home. We're gonna act like I actually caught three to begin with because the fourth one totally didn't meet a demise with the land. Uh, the HP was very low and he just went splat. So we have three cows now, but that's all we need. Okay, let's get them back to Glacius and let's save them after we get there. Okay, so it's time to get these guys up there. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I did not plan ahead. Whoops. When unsure of how to move a mob up, you always just use a good old piston. This has been the technique that always seems to work if it doesn't crush my boat. Oh, Jesus. Can I break that without killing the cow? No, the boat! Okay, fun guy is still fine. I accidentally named him. Let's just quickly take this down again. Work from the bottom again because... I've already killed two cows, if you can tell I only have two left. I killed two of them because they weren't cooperating. They fell through the floor here because all of this floor is completely hollow. And they both died. Here we go. Attempt number two. Let's see if this one goes a little bit smoother than the last time. That should be done. Now if we climb up here, we should be able to access the boat pretty easily. Open these. Uh, no. There we go. Hey, we did it! Wow, that took way too long. <laughs> okay, let's get these guys in here. Come on, little fun guy, let's go! And there we go, we've got our second cow in. So let's quickly block this area off so we can't get any runaways. And block that one off as well and get these guys out of their boats. Perfect. So we have two of the cows. We've got a fun guy over there. Little fun guy. And then we have mush. And now I've got to bring these two up and then name the other two once those guys are born. And then we also have Shroom and Shiitake, which are all of our brown moon shrooms, all caught and all named. So let's go downstairs and quickly put in their stats. And there are all our stats. I've just marked it that I caught them today, which is the 11th, but I did actually catch them a couple days ago. But I got a little bit sick and I completely lost my voice, so I had to stop recording for a bit. So we're moving on to another area in the zoo, which is over here, which is not even really done yet. We've got, we haven't even got a pathway going over here. And don't mind the evoker just chilling there. He's for a future episode. So we're going to be moving into this one, which, if you couldn't tell, is another aquatic animal. The only aquatic animal we didn't put in the aquarium was the axolotls. So if you remember a while ago, Obsidian Skies actually gifted us a bunch of axolotls when he went on his 117 journey. And I've got them all in my pockets here, so let's pop them down and finally give these guys a home. I've always decided to give axolotls these names because I'm a massive How to Train Your Dragon fan, and axolotls just look so much like Night Furies that I had to give them the name. Not any specific colour for any specific axolotl, I just named them and hope for the best. So we got Little Toothless, we got Rough Runner, Light Fury, Pouncer, and Dart. And surprisingly enough, all the nightlight babies are actually the same colour, which is kind of scary but kind of cute that I totally cheesed that. It doesn't matter. But there we go, let's quickly get a better look at these guys. But you've got to admit, axolotls are so cute. Oh, look at them. They're adorable. I love them so much. Okay, enough gushing over axolotls, time to actually write in their stats. Which I don't even know where these guys came from, so I'm just going to say that they were gifted. There we go. And we have our little axolotls all named as the How to Train Your Dragon Night Furies and Light Furies. There's my little bit of nerd slowly seeping out. But moving on from me absolutely fangirling, I think I might actually do one more area in the zoo today. It's not going to be a complete area, but I'm going to work on the tiger biome. Haven't finished this house here, but I have finished this one. So I think I might grab two mountain or tiger biome animals and throw them in and do the other half in the next episode. So I think the animals I'm going to chuck in there are going to be normal foxes as well as wolves. So let's go find those guys and bring them home. Okay, we are at a tiger biome and we are currently looking for foxes and wolves. And I think I just found one of them. Okay, so let's quickly grab these guys. I'm just going to tame them because trying to drag around wild wolves is going to be a pain in the butt. So let's quickly tame them. Come on, be my friend. There we go. So we've got two wolves tamed. Whoops, I didn't mean to place that there. Come back. So yeah, we've got two wolves tamed. Time to try and find maybe two more along the way and foxes as well. 
Whoop, speak of the devil and they shall appear. Hello, buddy. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, I gotta get my leads. Where is the fox? Where is the fox? Oh, where'd he go? There he is. Gotta get the fox. Gotta get the fox. Come here, buddy. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, I love the foxes in this game. Need to catch him. Need to catch him. Whoop. Mm. Yes, I shall sneak. Oh, why are they so cute? Oh, I love him. You are now mine. Whoop. Haha, -ha, I've got a fox. Okay, now I've got to find a second fox and take these wolves back home and try and get there safely with four animals in tow. Will I do it? I have no idea. I was on my way home and I think I found another fox. Oh, look at him. He's snoozing. Oh, let's quickly catch him before the sun sets and before the mobs come out. I've got... One of the fox and two of the dogs still following me, so I'm actually doing pretty decent. And we are back in Glacius's area, so we should be doing pretty good now. And whoop! Ah, we got another fox! We've got all four! Oh god, where'd the other one go? Buddy! Oh! How'd you get down there? Okay, I'm gonna have to... Oh god, they're both down there now. I'm gonna have to dig them out. Come on, out you come. Perfect! Okay! Time to head home before we all die from mob spawning. Okay, after a little bit of walking, I finally got the foxes and the wolves home. Losing a couple foxes along the way and breeding the wolves as well. So now we have three. And yeah, I had to breed one of my foxes with one of my arctic foxes because I lost one and could not find where it was. So I decided just to breed them because I didn't know you could actually breed the two colored foxes. And there's like a 50% chance of getting one or the other. So I'm not complaining to that. So we've got all of these guys now, let's tuck them into their little pen and then get to naming them. But let's do that all off camera because as you can see, the foxes are a little bit of a handful. Okay, these guys are all aged up and bred, so now we're going to name them. So we have Sherlock, Flame, Blaze and Flare. Our little foxes, look at them. They're so cute and they're sleeping. So those are the foxes and time to name the wolves as well. So we've got Prince. Princess, Duke, and Emperor. I had to name the wolves after something royalty, because look at them. Aren't they just looking so dapper? And I'm going to leave them with the red collars, because they look rather nice. And red is the colour of royalty, so it doesn't matter. Kind of matches anyways. So I've already done their stats up here. So Sherlock was named by Error 404 and all the others just have placeholder names for now. And same with the wolves as well. But with that, I'm going to leave the zoo for now and we're going to be moving back over to the farming district but first let's head to the notice board and quickly cross off the animals we got in this episode there we go those two are done and there's no other way to mark the brown mushroom because he is the full text capacity so i just leave it like that with little asterisks underneath i know i've caught him so that's all that should matter so we've got most of the area done we've got a couple more places to go but that is the zoo done for today as i said before time to move over to this area again back to the farmlands and back to the factories so what we're doing today is we're going to be doing something a little bit different that's like a general farm or something that i can profit off of well profit in quotation i use a lot of carpet so i need a lot of carpet instead i'm doing a little bit of like storytelling kind of so i was thinking about what i wanted to add to this area because we've been getting to the end of the season and i need to fill this area out but i've kind of lost not motivation, but ideas for this area. I got as far as the sheep farm and I couldn't think of anything further to go. I was talking to Obsidian and he was thinking, well, since you already have wheat here, how about go with the wheat and make a cake farm? So I was thinking of adding chickens, cows and a mini sugarcane farm to be able to like mix together like a little cake factory in the end of Glacius and make it like a cake manufacturer. Thought I'd add a little bit of niceness to the area which is known for its like hostile environments and ice spikes and death and destruction so what we're doing today is we're going to be doing up the chicken coop and i'm not going to throw us into a time lapse i'll just build it and if i have something weird to say in between cuts i shall say it so let's get into it and hopefully it looks out okay i haven't designed it just yet so i'm going to be winging it most likely so let's go so this is my thought for the collection system it's very very simple and there is absolutely no redstone in it because i don't know nothing about redstone 
so the less I can use the better. So I was thinking very simple just chucking a chicken on top of a hopper and just let it sit there and lay eggs and then just keep it trapped so it's gonna be a very very small build but it's gonna be hopefully cozy and nice. There we go got a little bit of the base area done the full collection system is working I tested it all. Now it's time to find the eggs and get the chickens in there so time to do a little bit of searching and a little bit of luck. There we go, we've got our four chickens in there. Believe it or not, I actually got these four chickens out of four eggs. Threw the first two eggs and there was absolutely nothing. Third egg, and then four popped out. I didn't even know that was a thing. You could get four chickens from a single egg. I'm so sad I didn't catch that on camera. But time to chuck a roof on this and then show off the final result of our little chicken coop. And here is the first half of the chicken coop. Four chickens aren't enough to fully cater towards a full cake factory, so I'm going to copy this design and plonk it right behind us. So I'm essentially going to duplicate it, chuck it here, and have two simultaneous running chicken coops. So in total we should have about eight chickens going at the same time. We have two chicken coops. There we go, I got the second chicken coop done, did all the flooring and all the collection system. Been going on for about 10 seconds and we've already got a couple eggs, so not really that I need eggs, it's just I'm adding it for the law of Glacius. I'm not really doing it because I need eggs or anything, I just want to make a cake factory. And to make cake you need eggs. But that is the first part done of our little factory area in our farming zone in Glacius. But the rest of the factory is going to have to wait till next episode because I've dragged this episode on for long enough and I'm going to have to leave this episode here. So if you guys like the video, give the video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you want to stick around. All good. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.